Hi. Hi, hello. Uh, so we're here at China Telecom, and who are you? Uh, I'm here to provide English service, and also I'm a staff of China Telecom. And uh, who's there dancing around? Who's uh, this? That's Yunbao. Yunbao? Yunbao, yeah. Yeah? And uh, Bimbao is fly because it's fast internet or what? Um, sorry? Fast connection? Why is it fly? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is the latest you show here at the booth? You have so many things, right? You talk about uh, e-surfing, cloud computer. Uh, what is this cloud computer? Uh, uh, I mean, this, uh, this one is uh, optical, the optical network. Optical, optical network. network? Yeah, it's an optical network. All right. And, uh, yeah. So the fiber. Panel, yeah. The, the fiber connections. Uh, yes. The yeah. fiber connections. And uh, here is the panel. The panel yeah. uh, illustrates the introduction of the optical network. All right. And what's happened here? 5G? Yeah. Uh, you have drones. So how big is China Telecom? Uh, you mean how big is how many staffs? Yeah, who's, who's the biggest uh, telecom company in uh, China? In China, I number think one is, is China Telecom. China Telecom. Yeah, it's the largest one in and China. Number two is... Uh, number two maybe the Unicom, Unicom. or Mobilecom. All right. So, um, what is the latest, coolest technology you show here? Uh, I think that's 5G drones. 5G yeah? drones. Uh, here. You can 5G see the demonstration drones. of the 5G drones. Is live? Uh, I think that's the only demonstration. Yeah. yeah it's not the real-time image. All right. So here we show the. Uh, here we demonstrate the how the how it works. I think that's it's a platform. That means that the drone can go unlimited distance. Uh, no. It can go for like all over the country. No. No. Okay. There's a limit. It has their uh, coverage. I think that's limited. All right. Uh, Vo Wi-Fi. And what do we see here? What is this about? AI? Energy saving. Energy saving. Yeah, AI. Energy saving. To uh, save the energy. Because 5G plus. Because uh, some people could say all this internet, all this 5G is using a lot of energy. But you need to consume less, you do it more efficiently, right? Uh, you mean if you use the 5G network, you use the energy, you use electric to... Yeah, to run to, the to, internet and yeah. everything. Uh, but then now you need to find a solution to use less energy. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I think here is a solution to illustrate how, how, they're, how, how they can uh, save the energy. All right. So um, here, uh, you can give a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a English. bit of a little bit of a little bit of 我们为了响应国家双碳战略，然后打造了绿色五G，通过我们集团的大数据湖，融合了用户的感知数据，全深度全化深度感知，然后通过大脑去做智能分析引擎。In order to respond to the China's policy to reduce the carbon dioxide, we optimization in the way you do the whole network. Yes, that's the that's how the infrastructure and structure to implement. In different sectors, they have their individual image of each own sector. 保障每个山保障每个山区都有它都能在安全精准的去进行接纳。To make sure each sector can uh, check the energy consuming accurately. 目目前我们目前我们已经全国已经纳管了四百三十万的山区，然后节能效率日节能效率达到百分之十六，相当于减碳年相当于年减碳三十万四四十万吨。So far, we have covered four four uh, four million. 4 million, near 4 million sectors. 430万。How many sectors left? 
I think that's the telephone booth. Okay. The Let's telephone go. booth. The wide one. Okay, I follow you. <laughs> okay. Where are you from? I'm America. from Switzerland. Switzerland. Oh, oh. there the, the robot is playing. Yeah. Right. So let's walk. I follow you. Where do okay. we go now? Fine. Uh, so this exhibits the whole 5G plus uh, industry. Industry. For example, uh, 5G can apply in uh, factors. 5G can apply in education. Sort of things. 5G in the mining. Yeah. And what what you can do with a smart mine? You can uh, you can uh, have the the machines work by themselves uh, and then you don't need to go down in the mine maybe uh have you potentially have you illustrate this yeah. section and i will uh, translate, translate for just you. short yeah oh. right okay yeah. i say demonstration yes uh, the synergy of 5G with uh, automatic driving. Here is the cases. Nice. So self-driving, mining uh, trucks, potentially. Uh, yes. yes. And just bring more and more and more Earth out automatically. Yes. So mining forever. That's cool. All right. Uh, and this is already happening in China. I mean, uh, mining. You already do this, 5G in mining. Yes, we just use this to uh, track the cars, the vehicles. Just for tracking. All right. Cool. Uh, let's let's walk around some more. Let's have a look at this one. There is also 20 millisecond latency to the to the different uh, things that we're showing just before. Uh, I saw something. I don't know. Uh, so so. You talk about the industry here. Yeah, as a, the ar arrangement, the ar right. arrangement, different ports. Okay. Cool. Oh, the ports are here. Ah, that's crazy. All right. Oh. Okay. Let's, can we walk a little bit more? Okay, fine. Yeah. What's at this big wall here? Uh, I think that's a kind of uh, platform, a software, a software level. Software, all right. And uh, here's a hello. Like, what do people do in there? They sing. Uh, all right. It's like a mo uh, music, something. Uh, I'm sorry, not. It's a can of uh, telephone tools. A telephone booth. A telephone booth. Yeah, a telephone booth, and it's helpful. Uh, it's really helpful for elder people. Oh, nice. Yeah, because they can't use the phone effect effectively. So you can nice. use, you see, uh, telephone booths to call taxi. Or because uh, uh, technology needs to be easy for elderly people. Yeah. It's very important, right? Yes. And you do a lot of work for this? Uh, yes. We... But China has many old people, right? Yes. And everybody wants to connect uh, to the internet. What? To the internet. Everybody wants to use the internet all the time. Here's some AI. Uh, what's happened here? Is AI images or what it could be? They have also AI presenters for the news. AI generated content, maybe? I don't know. Uh, yes, that's a kind of different, uh, yeah. I mean, different effection of the uh, digital humans. Digital humans. And here you have some gaming. And they can fix. <laughs> is this is the gaming over the cloud? Uh, this uh, is gaming cloud. It's a cloud, right? Yes. Cloud solution for the game. So it's just running over the um, this. Uh, that's a kind of application in maybe in smartphones. Uh, and but it's also kind of a platform. It says 8K. 8K Dangbei. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, he, he said that it's, uh, there is no relationship between this box. 
Ah, it's not playing from the box now. Yeah. How is it playing? From the phone? Ah, this phone is connected? Yeah. This is playing here? Yeah, uh, that's a cannot application. Nice. Is many people use this or is in the future? <laughs> it's already available now? Yeah, he said uh, lots of people tend to use this application. Nice. How much is the price to play the game? Need to pay? Uh, 39 per month. 39 RMB per month? Yes. So like $5, $6, and then you have as much game you want? Uh, yes. All right. Cool. All right. That was great. Uh, is it cool? The Mobile World Congress in Shanghai here, and every day you go around, you do a presentation? Your job here? Uh, sorry? You, you do the presentations in English here at the booth? Uh, no, I just translate. To translate? Yeah, translate English into Chinese. Because we have uh, expert uh stuff in there to introduce uh, the exhibition. And she's going to be doing some dance? Uh, yes. Is this connected? Yes, I think that's uh, Ah, you scan the body and now she's dancing. Yeah, you move the body and she's dancing through the screen. Oh, that's cool. So for people who don't know how to dance, this is great. It's just yes. the AI will dance for them. Yes. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks for this tour. Thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, just, uh, just one question. So if, if I was living in China, I subscribe to China Telecom. Price is good. It, speed is very fast. You mean the band board? Yeah. You uh, buy a subscription. Yeah, we, are, uh, we are keep uh, reducing the fee. Ever. Always reducing. Yeah, always reducing the fee because we need to help citizens to uh, access internet more and, easily and, and effectively. And how many millions people, customers you have? Uh, I think that's uh, the majority of the population in China. So China. five, six, seven hundred million. <laughs> Actually, Maybe. I, I don't know the number. I'm not sure the number, but I can uh, tell is that the majority of the population in China. They use China Telecom's band board. That's, that's our uh, the main product. Nice. And uh, every all the time keeping at the fastest network, maybe in the world. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe because uh, China. So many people use the five G, and many people use China Telecom. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Cool.